Conveyor Drive System, an overview of the operation. Here we're looking at the drive system, complete. As we pan down, we take a look at the rocker arm. Also shows the arrows for the direction that the cam bearing should be rotating during operations. The conveyor motor sits on top of the gearbox. This is a one-third horsepower, 1 1.5 amp, three-phase motor. Sitting on top of the gearbox allows it to be protected from water splashing in and damaging the motor. The gearbox is a reducing gearbox. It reduces the speed of the motor for the racks to operate at a normal speed. AC44 will produce 244 racks an hour. The inspection plug. It uses 90 weight gear oil. The cam block that connects to the cam bearing. The cam bearing is what moves the rocker arm back and forth. Slip clutch springs allows the system to be protected during racks that gets jammed. The pillow bushing blocks. This is what the rocker arm uses to rock back and forth with. And the rubbing blocks. Again, this is what protects the system from being damaged. The connection between the rocker arm and the conveyor bar inside of the conveyor. Let's take a look at the system in operation. When a rack enters the system, it pushes the sequence bar in and activates the conveyor motor. The dogs along the conveyor bar moves the racks along. Here you'll see the, the dogs grabbing the ladders on the bottom of the rack and pulling the rack through the system. The dogs need to move freely. As it enters into the rinse area, the two dogs on the very end of the conveyor bar are called exit dogs. They are longer and extend out further. They are designed to push the rack to the end of the conveyor and to exit out of it so that the system can turn off when the more racks are in. Learn more about the conveyor drive system by talking to your manager, regional manager, vice president, 